We've been at this for quite a few years and one of our goals was to have cattle that would do really good as far as on the grid. Our cow herd's made up of, of uh, they're 100% Angus, so the, the cows are 100% are Angus and of course we use registered Angus bulls. Our cattle will typically hit the 90% CAB mark, so most of the cattle will be in the upper two-thirds of choice. And then there'll also be, you know, 20 to 30% of those cattle that'll go prime. We've been dealing with uh, Gregory Feedlot in Tabor, Iowa for about 20 years, so I've been sending them up there. When I found out they wasn't going to be able to buy cattle anymore, I was looking for a new opportunity to market my cattle. I knew the Angus Link was kind of geared towards higher quality type carcass cattle and I knew they it would probably be a good place for me to try to start as far as trying to remarket my cattle to, to a different lot again. I went ahead and enrolled my calves uh, last fall which should have been 2018. There was a, a 90 steer calves that we enrolled. After we got enrolled I did uh, get some calls uh, from Frank Padilla and Casey Cobb those are the two guys that handle the field work for the Angus Link. So they called me and wanted to uh, visit with me about the cattle and kind of just get a few more details. They were really working hard to try to help me market the cattle. So I mean, the, the field staff's out there and I know it's gonna get better as time goes on. So it, it's gonna be a helpful tool and, and uh, as this program gets up and going. After working with Casey and Frank, fielded several calls uh, that come through the, the website that the cattle were advertised on. I ended up getting hooked up with Valley Oaks Angus, kind of a local guy, which was kind of nice to see the cattle maybe stay in the state of Missouri here. They uh, ultimately ended up buying the calves from me. Their goal is to feed high quality carcass type cattle that they got a little bit of history on and know how they're gonna perform for them. I mean, one of the main reasons we do this is, is for the bottom line, which is what we get paid for the cattle. Nothing against taking them to the auction, but you know we expect to get a little bit better price for what we've done over the years and all the extra genetics and value we put in them. I would recommend the program to other producers. It definitely helped us get established with a new feedlot, and I think once the feedlots get familiar with the scoring system, that the three scores that they put out on the cattle, I think that's going to be beneficial to them, make them feel more comfortable about using the program. It's, it's an easier way for them to look at those scores versus trying to look at a bunch of EPDs on cattle. So it kind of, it's, I think it'll be helpful there to, to make that transition a little smoother for the feedlots trying to buy cattle. Well, I know there was value in working with the American Angus Association, and then this Angus Link program just kind of topped it off. It was definitely instrumental in getting us hooked up with a, with a new feedlot and probably a future relationship there, so it was very valuable to our operation.